Welcome back to another episode of Games with Beth. We are back in Doki Doki Literature Club. Do you guys like my whispering? My attempt at A-S-M-R? If not, it's okay, because I'm about to end it right now. Alright, sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha. <laughs> That's not very responsible of you, uh, Monica, uh, president of the literature club. Some president I am, right? Okay, yeah, at least you acknowledge it. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a more assertive, some, be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, she's crying. No. She quickly runs away. Natsuki! Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Matsuki. Or did. Me. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it by tomorrow. Completely. I don't... I don't like that. That, that, that. Anyway. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Um, Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you two to be done. Um, uh, well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with me. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble. Uh, 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 uh! No! What the hell was that? Dude, this is shooting my fucking nerves. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Creaky chair. That scared the crap out of me. I'm not playing that up. Okay, let's go with puppy. Defeat. Um, blanket. Attorney. This shit doesn't even matter. Frightening. This shit's been frightening. This shit's dark. I need to breathe. Oh, my heart's going crazy. Um, someone's gonna need to analyze this. Analysis this. this. I'm having horrible sensations. Oh. Hey. I don't know what this one is. I'm gonna go with it. Ah! That was a mistake! That was a mistake! Okay! This is fine! Heartbeat. Melancholy. Oh! No, no, the sound's getting louder. I don't like this. Hopeless. Um. Uh, anxiety. I'm having anxiety right now. 
Oh, well, let's go. Let's go with philosophy, and let's go with let's go with graveyard. Oh, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I need comfort. I want some comfort. This is unstable. <laughs> Melody, get me out of here! Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable. Here over the past couple days, enter the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, B. Ah, uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's qual still hangs a little in the air. Oh, I need a deep breath. Everything is fine. Uh, um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, manga isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to a corner of the room. Oh, about yesterday. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me. But Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologize, but you should really be apologizing to Natsuki. You don't have to worry about it too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Ooh, uh, maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, B, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, then. Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Ugh. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. D no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but... but. I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. Uh, I was not! Ahaha. Ah, what took you so long anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ahaha. Ah, that makes no sense though. You would have had to- You would have had heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? Or was it the way you play music as well, Monica? Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still? That must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thank you, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Aha, uh -huh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, B.
Monica sw smiled sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh huh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. Not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Matsuki has already run off into the closet. Me? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you got me that book. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she- She- she's fine! She's reading over there! So it was okay, right? Uh, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay! Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh-uh. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? Uh, I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah. But I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. I don't- This is not the same thing you told me. This is not the same plot you told me. This is not the same plot you told me. Uh, there are people trapped. They have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them to- oh, oh, that might have been a bit of a spoiler. Are they human centipeding this shit? Are they human centipeding this shit? But, anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. N not the thing about the limbs. That's, ki that's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that, that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, B? N no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you, you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets it. Oh. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, might as well get started reading it, right? Ah! What did you just do? What did you just do? What did you just do? You don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. 
I, I was just bathing in the feeling of, uh. Tell me what it said! Tell me what it said! Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I, I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide, I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Sleed. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay, this is nice. This is normal. How's it gonna get fucked up? Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you're being so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the paper, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? N no, I don't relate to this character at all. Was her expression like that before when I said that or is it different i don't remember i genuinely don't remember but there's a little bit of red in her eye it's making me nervous definitely not really i was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all uh uh that's what you were talking about sorry i thought you meant something else about her something else N never mind we didn't even get that far yet so I don't know why that came into my head. Uh-huh. Yuri, are you feeling alright? I don't think this is the same. Uh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if, as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? B. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh. No, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no nothing Aha, don't worry. I believe you, Sally. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's nothing alarm, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sh with sharing our poems to e with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I, I just figured we'd s get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Um, okay. I guess that's a little weird. Let's go talk to Natsuki. Oh, burp. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pre pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if it was, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Okay, is Amy like spiders? 
Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect each other for liking weird things. Such as two girls and such as two of the girls in this very club whom I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. That was different. Is Yuri not back yet? Monica. Hi again, B. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Hmm. Alright. Great job, B. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's the easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Aha, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social attention, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yare! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I I'm sorry for being s late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful. Oh, it's missing letters. Endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Oh. Delete her. Delete her. Oh. 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 What are you doing? Sorry, I kind of know. I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri! I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Da, 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 da. Yuri stares at the poem with an expri with a surprised expression on her face. I can read words. Do you like it? Me. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you what kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give it a I really want to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Go. Even her hands appear sweaty, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. Uh, uh, 
that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I valued me. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. It's not bad, me. I'm not being weird, right? I I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? This is different. And I don't hear her music anymore. And there's stains on this. I'm a little nervous. Wheel. Rotating wheel. Turning it. Axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears in a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ships. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. I'd, I'd seriously like to know. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping again. I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh-huh. I'm okay! Why did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? What is going on? You can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. How is this one going to scar me for life? Is this a slide puzzle? I don't very much like slide puzzles. Can we move the pieces? Oh, we did move the pieces. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more uh, lively ever since we joined and, we're st and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't a time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Not Natsuke, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you in that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Bay? Uh Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of B to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think that any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri ne never even talked until B joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And B isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's in so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. 
I know you're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Ugh. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and B want more members too, right? Um, ugh. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're that we're against getting new members or anything. B, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Maka sits downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Uh, now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about your choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all! I just... I just want a place that feels like... That feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me! She's not taking anything away. No, B. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't want to be here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Da -da -da. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? Uh, I don't know. Kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? What kind of music is this? Uh, I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still... I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Uh... Ah! I should do my best to consider everyone's perspectives and make the decision that's right for the club. Hey, do you want to talk about what you just said and the fact that your eyes started to bleed? Can, can we talk about that? But what about you, B? What do you want to get out of this club? I want some answers! I want answers! Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. It's what will end up making the large club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Did something happen? Uh, she's still- she's still bleeding out of her eye! She's still bleeding! With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Are you crying? Are you crying blood? Or are you just still bleeding? Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. But, Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, B? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with B before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Ugh. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. 
trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? B, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm... I'm... I feel... I kinda... I feel... The background's getting darker. And it's fuzzing. I feel like... I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you. You know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit... You know. <laughs> the music cut out. What have, what have you done? Sometimes... Oh, I miss that. I miss that. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <sighs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, no, not yet. No! Okay. That happened. We're gonna save here. And we're, uh... We're, uh... We're gonna end the episode here. Okay. See you guys. See you guys in the next game. Next episode. Okay. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.